Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot, and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of February 10th through the 16th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So Pisces, for this reading, I am using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck. I'm also pulling you a Moonology Oracle card and a Sea Melodies Oracle card as well. All right, Pisces, so let's see here. At the bottom of the deck, I do have the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so let's see. Nine of Pentacles, some of you financially, you're in a good place. Okay. So the Nine of Pentacles is all about that lifestyle, feeling financially very secure. You've achieved quite a bit in your life. You could be a business owner. Your business is, is doing quite well. Uh, underneath this Nine of Pentacles, Pisces, I have the Five of Cups, which can represent uh, a loss. And so maybe I'm reading for some Pisces where there could have been a financial loss uh, the Nine of Pentacles also speaks about independence. It is a general reading. Some of you, I mean, there could be something happening publicly. This could be in the workplace, something like that. Maybe you lost your independence. Or a job. It, it, maybe some of you work with tools. Maybe something is changing in the workplace. Again, it could be something public. And there is like a level of independence here. Other Pisces, you might just be hearing something that you don't like. Now I see celebration here. Um, I have the Knight of Pentacles. I have the Three of Cups here. We have the Magician. We have the Six of Wands. So... If something was lost in the past or you were grieving the past, something that happened in the past with the Five of Cups for me, the majority of the time is talking about something that already happened. And so some of you, there is success, there's victory, and I see you um, celebrating something. So maybe something had to leave your life and create that space for something new to come in. Or maybe something is working out here at this time. It might have not worked out in the past. There could have been some sort of loss. Uh, the overall energy for you guys is the emperor, which is a more empowered energy. Definitely feeling more empowered in control. Maybe some of you Pisces taking back your power or stepping into your power here this week with this emperor energy, no matter if you're male or female feeling more empowered. Also, the Empress of Four, feeling, feeling more stable. And this could be financially. Again, maybe there was a loss. But um, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Three of Cups. We have that Knight of Pentacles. So a financial offer coming in for some of you. And the Nine of Pentacles is all about that financial freedom, independence, um, reaching a certain level, living a certain way, financially being very secure, successful. So some of you, you're, you're moving into that. You're maybe moving back into that. You're finding a way to bring that back into your life, um, that balance, that stability, stability for some of you. Others, this is what you're achieving. This is what you're moving towards. Now, the emperor can be someone who sits in a position of power. So I could be reading for some Pisces where you might be the boss or you're actually maybe moving into a position of power. Because there is news. We have the Eight of Pent, not the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, excuse me, the Eight of Wands with the Knight of Cups, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor. 
And also we have justice here. And so some of you have been working very hard. And it's interesting that I just mentioned the Eight of Pentacles because... Yeah, this could be karmic rewards coming in for some of you, an offer that's coming to you because, you know, some of you have, have maybe mastered your craft. You're very good at what you do. You're reaching that, that certain place in life. Um, You've been working very hard and you're about to be rewarded for that. So you could be promoted here, Pisces. Some of you, this is some news. This is an offer with the Knight of Cups that's coming in. Now, it could be unexpected because we have the Eight of Wands, which can be a shift in the energy um, when you least expect it. And so some of you, I see you contemplating this, this offer taking your time with temperance here, thinking about it. So there's maybe an unexpected opportunity that's coming in for you. For some of you, this is on the job front. And so those of you that have been working very hard, this is, this is some karmic rewards coming in for you. But I see you taking your time here. I see you taking your time thinking about this but I do I do see you leveling up Pisces we have the world here so this is achievement this is success this is leveling up so some of you are going to be the boss you are going to be sitting in this position of power in some way there's a a level of independence here that some of you are moving into Recog being recognized here this week. This is going to make you very, very happy, Pisces. Now, I could be reading for some Pisces where maybe you've had something legal that's been ongoing. There, This could be a, a settlement offer that's coming in for you here this week that you need to make a decision about. Do you accept this? I see many of you accepting it. You might take some time to think about it. But I do see some of you accepting it for a very small, this is a very small number of Pisces. You could be turning something down. You could be saying no to, to, to this offer here. Because I have the Seven of Wands and I have the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be a firm no. But that's not going to be for all of you. And, you know, underneath this Nine of Pentacles, I had the Five of Cups. And so maybe some of you lost something and there's something else that's being offered to you here. But maybe it's not... Maybe it's not what you lost. You might feel as though it's not enough. And, and that's not for all of you. That's just for those of you that are saying no to this. You could be like, no, I deserve more. No, it's not enough. Others, I don't, I don't feel as though all of you are going to turn this down. All of you are going to say no, not at all. Some of you are absolutely going to snatch this up. This ace of pentacles. This reward for your hard work. Absolutely, you're going to move on this. And you know, it's it, we're in a Mercury retrograde. And so... Oftentimes things from the past that have been ongoing um, do pop up. And so for some of you, this is maybe a legal matter that's finally being resolved. You're going to feel more empowered, more stable. You're, you're leveling up. This is success. It's also completion. We have the Queen of Cups here. So reading for some Pisces females.
Now, some of you, this is something you've had to fight for, but you were on higher ground. You had some sort of advantage. So with justice and the seven of wands, you know, this is something you had to fight for. You felt as though maybe something wasn't fair. So yeah, very interesting reading, Pisces. Um, for those of you that you have love coming in or an opportunity for love here, um, it could be with a Libra. They could be younger. If it's not with a Libra, they might be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They also could be a Sagittarius. Could be a Sag, could be an Aquarius, could be a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio. Um, I could be reading for some Pisces that this is someone who works within the legal field. That's what I'm, I'm feeling for some of you. This could be a cop. This could be a lawyer. This could be a cop. This could be someone in the military that you have coming in. You could be going on a date with this person or considering that here this week. So this person could be asking you out. Pisces, um, if you've been single for a long time, that actually could be something that's coming to a close. So yeah, um, maybe you're already dating this person and that can explain that the nine of pentacles with the five of cups, losing your independence. You could be making a commitment. Some of you could be moving in that direction, especially with uh, the emperor as the overall energy. Wow. Okay. Some of you definitely dealing with the Sagittarius, someone who is Sag in their chart. Let's pull you a C melodies Oracle card, Pisces. Someone who has Sag in their chart. They might have Libra in their chart. The Ace of Pentacles, solid new beginning. For some of you, it's a promotion. It's a new job. Others, I see you leveling up. This can be like a new, a new phase, a new chapter that's beginning for you. Okay. So we have luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius. Yeah, so some of you dealing with the Sag. Luck is on your side though. Luck is on your side. Eight of, eight of wands is a shift in the energy. It can be a sudden shift in the energy, things moving forward. Um, you might have had to be patient in the past, but uh, this is karmic energy with justice. We have an opportunity coming in. We have news coming in. Also, we have the world, which is which is success. So luck is on your side. And we do have recharge. There's nothing like a walk on the beach to soothe your soul. So at some point this week, Pisces needing to rest, needing to recharge, needing to bring in that balance. We have temperance and justice here in the spread. So take it easy. Relax. Recharge. Very nice reading. Very, very nice. It's going to be a good week for you guys. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. Pisces, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. If you're interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com.